graduate students, you are welcome to this uh, section of the practical class. In this section, I want to determine iodine value of fat. What is iodine value? Iodine value simply means the weight of iodine absorbed by 100 parts by weight of the sample. It is also the degree of oil saturation in the fat sample. We can use this iodine value to determine the degree of oil saturation in the fat sample. The higher your iodine value, the higher the degree of oil saturation. So in this experiment, how will you carry out, or how will you know, or how will you determine the iodine value of fat? That's what we want to look at in this session. In this session, the reagent you will be needing is uh, we have iodine solution, this iodine solution. We also have chloroform, we shall make use of chloroform. We have potassium iodide, 15% potassium iodide, we shall make use of. We also have sodium thiosulfate, which is our titrant. So, what is the procedure? How, are you going to, how will you go about this practical? Now, let's go. In this procedure, the procedure says weigh one gram of the sample into a conical flask. One gram is also equal to one mil. So, I'm going to measure one mil of this fat sample in the conical flask. This is a conical flux. Major weigh one gram of the sample into a conical flux, which is what I'm doing now. Then the next says, says say, add 10 ml of chloroform and shake. I'm going to add 10 ml of chloroform and shake now. This is our chloroform. shake. Yes. The next step says add 10 ml of standard iodine solution. This is our iodine solution. I'm going to add 10 ml of it into the clinical flask. solution into the conical flux. And shake. Yes. Then the next step is transfer the conical flux into, into that place for 30 minutes with periodical shaking every 5 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is transfer this conical flux into the dark place then for 30 minutes. I'll be shaking it every 5 minutes. That's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to transfer it into a dark place. A 
it's after five minutes now, so I'm going to bring it out and shake. Okay, it's 30 minutes now, but don't forget to only shake it after 5 minute interval during the 30 minute period of incubation in the dark. Now, we'll continue. The next step is after 30 minutes, remove which you've done and have 10 ml of potassium iodide, which I'm going to do now. So we have our 15% potassium iodide there. I'm going to measure out 10 ml and add it into the conical flux. After adding the potassium iodide, we now add 50 ml of Dixie water. We have our Dixie water here. Yeah, this is our Dixie water. I'm going to add 50 ml of Dixie water into the clinical flask. Now the last step is titrate against sodium thiosulfate drop by drop till the end point when you get a clear solution. So we are going to do the titration now. We are going to titrate what we have here against sodium thiosulfate. Now, I'm going to do the titration now.
continue until you have a clear solution. Then you stop. At this point, reaction has taken place. Now, you note your title value. You go to your borate and take the reading. If you look at this one that um, I just did here, the title value is 16 centimeter cube. The title value is 16 centimeter cube. Now, if you want to determine the iodine number of this fat, or this uh, fat sample, the formula which you are going to use is iodine number iodine number equal to equivalent weight of iodine times volume of sodium thiosulfate times normality of sodium thiosulfate all over weight of sample. All over weight of sample times 100 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3. Where equivalent weight of iodine equals to 127 gram normality normality of sodium thiosulfate equal to 0 0.1 normal now the volume of of sodium thiosulfate that neutralizes what we have in the conical flux is 16 cm cube, which is the volume. The volume of sodium thiosulfate is also 16 cm cube. Now we have all our all our data now. What we'll do now is to substitute whatever we have here, all our data inside this formula. Remember when we started the practical. The first result is add one gram of sample into a clinical flask. So the weight of your sample is one gram. Weight of sample equals to one gram. So once you have all this, what you now do now is substitute what everything you have here into this formula. Then we now have iodine number. Iodine number to be equal to Equivalent weight of iodine. The equivalent weight of iodine is 127 gram times volume of sodium thiosulfate, which is what? For a titration, 16 cm cube. 16 cm cube. Then, what is the normality of sodium thiosulfate? We say it's what? 0 0.1 normal times 0 0.1 normal. All over. What is the weight of your sample? We say it's what? 1 gram times 100 times 10 raised to the power of minus 3. So, when you do your calculation, whatever is your answer, then that is your that is your value of the fat sample. Once you've done this, once you've done this, then you successfully determine the iodine value of the fat. When you are giving any fat sample, any sample at all to determine its iodine value, 
you can go through this process. You can use this process. There are other processes, other methods. We have several methods which we can use to determine the array value. This is one of them. So, to this, we've come to the end of this class. Thank you, everybody.